Okay, so this is Heroes of Might and Magic 4, and um, uh, somebody suggested that I should do a playthrough of this uh, this game at least once. And I thought, you know, um, why the heck not? It's not a very challenging game, but I might as well at least do it once because I'm good at it. So see here I'm picking the map uh, what is this? Sea Politics. Uh, I know this map pretty well. And I'm restarting until I get uh, somebody that I like. Just, you know, mostly, uh, <laughs> mostly a matter of, um, uh, you know, liking their portrait. And it's a necromancer. And he starts with poison there. Now I'm, I'm uh, recording my um, audio my narration after the fact here, just by the way. So that kind of helped me uh, to be able to play a little bit faster, not have to worry about commenting. And uh, right here, now I know this map pretty well. I used to play this map all the time, so it's not like uh, it's not like I'm doing this, uh, you know, without knowing what I'm, what's what's around me. Uh, a lot of key differences in this game. <clears throat> um, like, for instance, the fact that uh, you can take you can take uh, troops and um, remove them from your army and have them walk around the map. You have multiple heroes, and that's. Uh, that's a huge change, a huge difference, and it's probably one of the reasons why the computer doesn't do so well on this game is because that's such a big tactical change having multiple heroes that uh, the computer just really can't, I think, can't handle it. Um, can't really deal with that very well, and so it tends to do really poorly. I mean, the computer wasn't much of a challenge in Heroes 3, but in Heroes 4, it's a joke. And I think mostly that's to do with heroes on the battlefield and multiple heroes. It just doesn't know what to do with those heroes, at least to keep them alive. Because um, it'll... In, in the default, if you turn on auto combat, the computer will just send the heroes up to, uh, you know, just attack with all the rest of the troops and even keep them back. <laughs> in most cases, unless it, unless it has something to do like cast a spell. But, um, let's see here. Basically, uh, what am I trying to do here? I think I'm trying to... Uh, looks like I'm getting a mage go. And we got poison. Now, really, I'm going to be using some really cheap tactics here. Uh, the Necromancer was just ridiculous in this game. Uh, they, they really didn't balance the game too well. They kind of ran out of funds, really. This is back when 3DO was going broke and it rushed this game out. <clears throat> and as a result, uh, there were some glaring uh, balance issues here that never got fixed. And one of them was the Necromancer. I'm playing the Necromancer just just to be, just to kind of, uh, you know, go, go 100% cheap. <laughs> it's just, and I'm getting this guy some levels here. If you get to Master Necromancer, or Grandmaster Necromancer, you can raise vampires. Actually, even just raising ghosts is pretty good. Ghosts are pretty strong. The only problem is you can't really choose what, you know, what to raise. There was a balance, uh, balance mod called Equilibris, but um, I didn't like some of the things that mod did. Uh, it used to be kind of standard when you were playing, um, playing games against other players, though. See, the great thing is you can use 
use uh, stacks of, uh, you know, one level one creature just to go around and grab free resources. You don't have to use heroes anymore. That's kind of nice. There's also no more hero chaining. A lot of people didn't like that because they like to do the hero chaining thing, but personally, I, I kind of thought it was better. I liked a lot of things about this game. It's just that, you know, it just wasn't really wasn't finished was the problem. And you can see that yellow arrow there. That means if I move right in that area, I, I have a chance of getting attacked. Because there's some of these monsters are roving monsters. They'll move around. And if you happen to be in a spot where they move to, they'll attack you. <clears throat> it's also the option to have um, mobile guards, and I don't like that option. It's, it's just a little bit too hard to calculate where you're supposed to move, where it's safe. So it's it just changes the game a little bit too much in my opinion. That's a pretty good ring, that ring of regeneration right there. Sometimes, sometimes you can move past this guy, sometimes you can't. If you can't, you just what I did here, I have a stack of five imps. I, I take one imp and put him put him somewhere within range of that guy and I get that guy to move and then move the rest around him. That's what I'm doing here with the, uh, the um, whatever they're called, the sea monsters. <clears throat> I believe you'll see next turn the sea monsters will move and attack that imp and that'll allow my other imp to go and grab that boat. And I'm basically getting this guy a bunch of levels. Grabbing some of the free chests. Normally you probably wouldn't play this way unless you're deaf. Probably you just grab the chests for gold. But in this case, I mean, death is, is so ridiculously powerful that you can do it this way. Basically, because I can use a really cheap tactic. But you can't really get away with that with any other city. <clears throat> the other, well, actually all of them are kind of, there's, all of them are really easy except life. I, I mean, I, I know how... Ah, uh, see? As sea monsters attacked my imp, that means, that means they moved. And they'll only move once per turn. So that gets them out of the way for my guy who's going for that boat. See? never dig for the grail in this one either. <clears throat> this map has a lot of free resources laying around, so you shouldn't have any trouble on this map. It's pretty easy. There's a huge difference in this game because you're starting town. I'm going to make sure this guy doesn't move. Uh, this guy stays here again. I'm going to use that guy to kind of attract that sea monster there. Make sure he doesn't go for the guy in the boat. But there's a huge difference in this game because your town can only produce a maximum of 1,000 gold versus like 4,000 gold and I think it was 4,000 gold. Yeah, 4,000 gold and Heroes 3. So that's a big difference. It's you relying a lot more on the on the map and on other things to get gold than you were in Heroes 3. But you know the creature drawings are, I think, maybe not necessarily the same. No, they they might be a little bit more expensive actually. Level I'm trying to remember. <laughs> yeah, there's so you got more expensive stuff and and uh, less money generation in this game. So it changes the game a lot. a little bit slower off the bat usually but of course you only have a few creature dwellings in this one you only have a maximum of four no five I guess you, get, you can get both the level one creature drawings but yeah versus seven 
plus upgrades. Thinking of expert, do I want expert necromancy or basic demonology, which would improve my poison damage? And I go with looks like basic demonology, yeah. And then, and I'm gonna go do this. I, I gotta make sure that uh, I gotta hope that nobody here gets morale because I think. Um, Yeah, lucky no, lucky those um, those cyclops didn't get morale. If they did, they might have been able to kill me, or they would have been able to kill me. But that's it's not a huge chance of that happening, and I could probably have, I could have still picked it up, picked up the corpse with this guy and ran ran away. So that's not a big deal. So I'm gonna retreat with this guy. That's another thing you can do. You can just retreat with your hero. You don't have to hire him back. So I was lucky enough to get fatigue in my in my um, in my uh, my mage guild there. If I hadn't got that, well, it wouldn't have been a big problem because I'm about to get ghosts anyway. But um, it certainly helps, especially against stacks like that, as you can see. I could probably go get those guys. Stacks of just one type. And uh, a slow type. Um, and if they're vulnerable to poison and fatigue, then uh, I could usually, I could, should be able to get them. Show you what I mean here. Not quite sure what I'm doing right now. Oh, I know what I was doing. I, I was going to go. I was going to take this guy, and uh, well, I also got sorrow too. That helps. I was going to take this guy and go after those dwarves right there. Okay. So this guy attacks again, and that keeps him from killing the guy with the boat. why I didn't pick up that chest. Okay, I got my ghosts. Ghosts are so ridiculously overpowered. Grabbing some nice free money over here. Wizard ring, not really that helpful. I like I like a lot of the improvements here. I was sad to see that Heroes of Might and Magic 5, which I didn't like at all, uh, it did it just basically was a copy of Heroes of Might and Magic 3 with like a uh, World of Warcraft look. I absolutely hated it, and they threw out all the good improvements that Heroes 5 or 4 made. You know, all the all the in my opinion, a lot of them were definitely improvements. I mean, the heroes in the battlefield, the multiple heroes. They didn't even have the multiple heroes idea. Still one hero per, you know, army. I thought the multiple heroes thing was, was really clever. Okay, and here's where I totally cheese it. It's much easier when, they're, when they have morale, um, bad morale each turn. Okay, and now I'm gonna poison him. Why am I? What am I doing? <laughs> Why didn't I? I should have poisoned him, but for some reason, looks like I forgot to poison him. Okay, I think at some point here I remembered to poison him.
Like, why isn't he... Why isn't he losing guys? Okay, now I remember to poison him. Okay, and I'm, I'm just going to speed this whole thing up so you don't have to watch this whole thing. So that was pretty cheap, right? And that's why the Necromancer is cheap. And I got some ghosts out of it. Which means uh, not only can I slow them down with fatigue, but I can slow them down even more with aging. So you can make make guys really slow. Like this this these guys are a pretty good target right there. These guys are not these guys are slow to start with, and once I hit them with aging and fatigue and poison, then they'll have no chance at all. Or am I thinking of doing something else here? Looks like I'm thinking of something else. Why did I... What? I'm not gonna... I'm kinda surprised I'm not going for those guys. I'm not sure I'm why I'm not. Maybe I didn't have enough spell points? Okay, and this guy I'm going for the dwarves here. And dwarves are pretty slow, so hitting them with fatigue and poison should uh, be pretty good technique here. Problem is, they have 50% resistance, and these guys somehow manage to get that resistance like five, six times in a row. It's absurd that they do, so I, I end up losing that guy. Oh well. It's kind of stupid. I'm like, well, can I get this guy back? No, I can't. I don't know why I tried that, I should have known. Why don't I pick up that chest for crying? There we go. Okay, well, now I'm going to pick up that guy with this guy. Bob Saget to the rescue. Just got vampires. I got plenty of spell points. I don't know why I didn't go for those guys up in the corner there. I'm going to go ahead and get some vampires. They start... It's, this is another weird thing. It's, um... They started in the corner there, so what I did was I took some skeletons, moved them over there, transferred them to vampires, and that way the vampires get, you know, I don't know how many spaces of movement, but a couple of spaces of movement free there. So now I'm going for, um, I'm going for the, uh, the tigers and whatever else is over there. They're, they're, uh, guarding some chests over there I want. Okay. Now once you have vampires, it's like, pff, so easy. With just two vampires, you can do amazing things. Those white tigers are pretty dangerous, so you really gotta kind of, you know, 
you got to kind of get a handle on the situation. They're, they um, they have a first strike, which makes them really annoying. Plus, they're really fast. Okay, I managed to slow that guy down. As long as you can slow him down, you're okay. This is actually going to be another one of those where I'm going to go ahead and fast forward it a little bit. Also makes you level up pretty quick when you take on big armies like that, as you can see. Imagine being up against Necromancer in uh, a player versus player game. You can see why um, they were considered a little overpowered. And I guess I, I'm trying to decide whether or not I should go pick up that corpse or not. goes back there. Not sure why. <laughs> Not sure quite what I'm doing here. Yeah, this is probably the last uh, halfway decent game um, New World Computing ended up getting out. It was all downhill from there because uh, 3DO was going broke and they kind of dragged New World Computing down with it. Which is really sad. And, um, I think John Van Cunningham is still in the business, but he, he doesn't make these kind of games anymore, from what I understand. Uh, which is too bad. It really is too bad what happened. But they rushed this game, and they rushed uh, Heroes, Heroes 9. And I did actually recently pick up Heroes 10. Um, by a completely different company and of course didn't like it thought it was pretty I don't know it's just uh it's kind of lame it just really didn't have you know it's too too linear um, really buggy too I mean geez I think it was buggy as heck so it just you know they just don't make them like they used to I guess I mean, I do occasionally pick up a, a modern game nowadays, but really can't, usually can't get into them too much. They're, they're usually just too, uh, I don't know, corporatized, maybe? They seem to just all copy each other, and uh, it's not, not really much innovation. Uh, as the, the focus is on graphics as opposed to gameplay. They're usually laggy, they're buggy. It just, I don't know. I think the great, great era of uh, computer RPGs is kind of behind us, maybe. I love binding liquid has it uses. So. Oh yeah, there's some thieves there, I thought so. Uh, 
Okay, and I'm I'm gonna go head out on the water here is what I'm doing. But first I gotta go pick up my guy's corpse so I can resurrect him. These guys should be really easy with vampires. Vampires are not... Not only are they overpowered in terms of their ability to... to, uh... drain life, but they also have a tremendous amount of strength. I mean, their their uh, stats are way higher than they should be. I really don't know what they were thinking when they did the, made these guys. They're so overpowered. They're a level 3 unit, and they're almost... they almost act like they're a level 4 unit. Because of their stats. And the fact that you can get so many of them through necromancy, it's... it's ridiculous. I really like the, the idea that hero chaining was gone because I thought I always thought that was cheap I mean I could do it with the best of them but I always thought it was kind of uh, not only was it tedious it, it really wasn't uh, kind of changed the game in ways that I didn't really like so I'm I mean it's you imagine my picking up heroes 5 not only seeing that it's a world of Warcraft wannabe and as far as its looks and it's the way it does its skills, but also the fact that they took every improvement from Heroes 4 and just, act, you know, ignored it, just threw it all out. So that's that was one of my big gripes with Heroes 4. I haven't played Heroes 6. Uh, I already heard it was bad, so I didn't even bother. Again, not uh, not New World Computing, not John Van Cunningham. It was just somebody picked up the title and you know, of course, mucked it up. As usual. That's what I heard anyway. I, I don't have personal experience, but it looked it looked pretty as far as the graphics go, but um, you know, just did a lot of people said it was crap. Oh, this is tough. This is this is talk about a challenge here. But you can do it. It's just um, you gotta be careful of these flyers here. But the fact that I can slow everybody down twice is why I even bothered to try this. And I notice I only have two vampires. It's um, I mean, you can imagine going up against another player, and he can take out this, you know, these troops. Uh, he can tra take out these troops these er this early. And I I'm considering like uh, because it depends on how many s different stacks you have as to how many stacks you're gonna face. You know, generally it's easier to deal with just one or two stacks rather than four. So I was considering just uh, having three, three stacks there. That way I didn't have to deal with so many of them. But I, I went ahead and uh, decided to do it this way. As long as you can slow them down enough, even if they're in, they're in four stacks, it shouldn't matter too much. See, they come up. They come forward and they... Um, they attack and they get slowed down, so you'd rather have that probably than having them move, having them move their full distance. If you can slow them down twice, you should be doing okay. See, those guys are those guys are too bad if you can slow them down twice. The trolls are always slow. You don't have to worry about them usually. Okay, so this one uh, again, I'm going to speed this one up.
That was a pretty big battle. Give me one level, probably pretty close to the next. At which point, I will hopefully get uh, Grandmaster Necromancy. Actually, I don't think I can possibly not get Grandmaster Necromancy. Which means I can re resurrect vampires, which is an absolutely huge... Um, just, I mean, if you can re resurrect vampires at this stage in the game, day 6 week 1, then you're really doing pretty crazy. You're, you're doing pretty good. And this guy, I think... I think I was going to send him out up there on the boat. Yeah, you can take... Um, see, it's it's just one stack. Essentially one stack of those... Uh, whatever you call them, mermaids. And those guys, we can use the second technique on those guys. So he's going to go ahead and use this guy to do it. Like I said, this guy's not very advanced. He's only got uh, expert... Uh, expert death magic. That's all he needs to take those guys out, just as long as he can slow him down. It'll take a while, but... You know, if you're gonna do it this way, you might as well. I was... Uh, I think I'm gonna give him those winged sandals. That way he has a little bit more movement. I'm trying to figure out who to get rid of. You can only have eight uh, armies in the field at one time, so... Had to get rid of one. And these guys just don't have enough movement points, so I got some ghosts. Let me grab those sandals off this guy and transfer them. takes a little bit longer in this game, but does a lot less, it seems. That's a nice thing to have on a map like that. This guy's got a few artifacts I want to get back. I think he had something. He got something in that water, I forgot what it was. Ah, Cloak of Warding. Well, somewhat useful. Not sure if this is guarded by rogues. Oh, yep, it is. And so I just lost that uh, chain mail, which would have been a nice thing to have. Yeah, unfortunately, the um, support for this game kind of went out. A lot of people, a lot of people just didn't like the idea of heroes on the battlefield. I loved it, but a lot of people didn't like it. And um, you know, in the whole player versus player community, it kind of this game was alive for a little while. But really, the thing that killed it was no random map generator. And I think they just simply, you know, like I said, they were going broke and, and just a lot of the support for this game was completely lost as far as 3DO and New World Computing was concerned. They were just too much going broke to do anything about it. Really unfortunate. Make this game a little more polished and a random map generator is definitely uh, would have been uh, one of the, what we remember as one of the top heroes games. And then, you know, if this had stayed stayed alive a little bit longer, maybe Heroes 5, they would have made Heroes 5 and, you know, uh, improved on the heroes, multiple heroes and heroes on the battlefield uh, concepts, which I think were really good uh, ideas that just um, weren't, they, they were implemented a little bit poorly in this game, and they, they were a good idea, though. Definitely a good idea. At least you don't even have to have heroes on the battlefield. You can just have um, uh, just multiple heroes is a great, great idea. You know, you can have yourself, you know, an option of having, you know, say up to three heroes in the same army. You know, and as many you know, troops as, as last time, you could just add extra slots for three heroes. But if you don't want it, you know, if you don't want three heroes, you can have one hero or two hero and get a little bit more experience and 
that that adds a whole new dimension of strategy. Oh boy, and this is gonna be awesome. Huh. Okay. Okay, and as you can see, that was a very nice little battle there, which I would have thought get, would have given me two levels at least, but it didn't. But in any case, those are water elementals and you don't want to mess with them. Part of this using this whole technique is just a matter of knowing which enemy stacks you can take, you know, which ones you can slow down, which ones you can poison. I can't do it to all the stacks, that's for sure. Like those stone gargoyles down there, I can't, I can't do anything about them because they'll slow down once. I can fatigue them, but I can't, um, I can't slow them down twice. They're just too fast, and I can't poison them, and I can't life drain them with my vampires. So, unfortunately, I can't go get those two uh, skill improvement places. At least not yet. Probably need a level four troop to actually take those guys. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to I'm trying to um I'm trying to get them to go up there and attack that guy so I can go up there and see yeah I'm going up there and see what that skill hut has. And I managed to get another necromancer out of that prison. So I've got three necromancers right now. I'm going to go ahead and put some of the artifacts on this guy. And then I'm going to get him to attack, uh, attack a neutral army and then retreat. And I'll get those artifacts back in my home base. And that looks like it's about it for this video here. <laughs>